The iconic POCO F1 was all about its high-end SoC, and it promised the best possible gaming performance at a surprisingly low price for its time. Now the company says it has launched its true successor, the POCO X3 Pro. Now this phone enters the sub 20,000 rupee market in India and it has some big shoes to fill, but it also goes up against strong competition such as the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max, the Realme X7 5G and the Moto G60. So what really stands out about this phone and can it be your daily driver and also give you great gaming performance? We're about to find out. You're watching Gadgets 360 and this is our deep dive review of the POCO X3 Pro. Unsurprisingly, the X3 Pro looks a lot like the X3 with its bold styling and the oversized camera module at the back. The POCO X3 Pro weighs 213 grams and is 9.4mm thick. Not everyone will find this phone comfortable to use, especially one-handed because of its bulk. The body is rated IP53 and POCO refers to this as splash-proof. There's also Corning Gorilla Glass 6 protecting the display. POCO has gone with a side-mounted fingerprint sensor which is slightly recessed. The fingerprint sensor works well and is easy to find by touch alone. On the left is the hybrid dual SIM tray which means you'll have to sacrifice a second SIM if you want to use a micro SD card for more storage or vice versa. On the bottom, you'll find a 3.5mm audio socket, a USB Type-C port and the primary speaker. You get a fairly large 6.67 inch Full HD Plus LCD screen with a 120Hz maximum refresh rate as well as HDR10 support. The high refresh rate is good and HDR kicks in when playing videos on YouTube. The front camera is embedded. The screen on the X3 Pro isn't the best that I've seen at this price level in terms of color reproduction. The POCO X3 Pro is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 SoC, which is a relatively uncommon processor and we're seeing it in action for the first time. The Snapdragon 860 is a slightly tweaked version of the Snapdragon 855, which was the company's flagship offering a few years ago. It's still very powerful, but it doesn't have 5G, which means that this phone might fall a little behind the competition, which is pushing this as an important feature in the sub 20,000 rupee market. You get 128 GB of UFS 3.1 storage and 6 GB or 8 GB of RAM in India. Other specifications include dual band Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 5, GPS, stereo speakers and high-res audio certification. Speaking of audio, the stereo speakers are nice to have. They're loud and good enough for sound effects in games, but they won't really let you get the best out of high-quality music. All these features should make the POCO X3 Pro a good gaming workhorse. I fired up COD Mobile and Asphalt 9 Legends and both of them ran without any hitches. The upper rear of the X3 Pro did get a bit warm after my gaming sessions, but a protective case could help. You can expect smooth performance as the hardware is more than enough to run all your social media and communication apps, plus casual games and productivity tools. The POCO X3 Pro runs on MIUI just like parent company Xiaomi's phones. The UI is packed with features and customization options. There are a few preloaded apps that generate spammy notifications which could be a downer for many. POCO has gone with lower resolutions for the X3 Pro's rear cameras than it did with the POCO X3. With the Pro, you get a 48 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide one, a 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The camera app is feature rich but some controls are buried, for example switching to or from the macro camera takes multiple taps. The main camera mode switcher is a carousel above the shutter button and there's a spillover menu with more modes such as short video, vlog, dual video, AI watermark, clone and long exposure. When it comes to photo quality, the colors didn't pop as much as I would have liked and the dynamic range isn't very strong. There's a reasonable amount of detail in daylight shots but don't expect the most realistic textures. The ultra wide angle camera also didn't impress me with some perspective warping at the edges of frames. Close up and portrait shots are decent and there's some natural depth of field which always makes subjects stand out nicely. It's difficult to focus accurately with the macro camera since there's no way to know if you're standing too close or too far from a subject. The POCO X3 Pro did struggle in dark environments at night but did an okay job when there was sufficient artificial lighting. Textures were murky and detail was weak. Night mode doesn't always brighten shots much but can improve contrast and make points of light look much less blown out. It works best when there's really little ambient light and this is especially evident with the ultra wide camera which is practically useless in the dark without night mode. The 20 megapixel front camera doesn't deliver the most natural looking skin tones and the default smoothening is too aggressive for my taste. Selfies taken in the day as well as at night are good and portrait mode does a decent job. 
Video recording goes up to 4K 30fps with the primary camera. There's no stabilization and you will notice a lot of jittering no matter the resolution. Video shot at night under bright street lights was grainy and dull. Battery life is quite solid thanks to a 5160mAh battery. You should easily be able to get through a full day even with an hour or so of gaming. The POCO X3 charged to 55% in 30 minutes and 93% in an hour using the bundled 33W charger which is not bad at all. POCO clearly had one goal in mind for the X3 Pro and that was to deliver the best possible CPU performance at around the 20,000 rupee price level. Arguably, it has succeeded. This phone is great for gaming and can also be your daily driver. Some other positives are the IP53 rating, stereo speakers and a bold design if you're into that. What could be a deal breaker for many is the camera performance, not to mention the screen is a little underwhelming. It's easy to see that young people will like what the POCO X3 Pro has to offer, but it isn't for everyone. Starting at a price of 18,999 rupees, this phone goes up against the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max and the Realme X7 5G, and you should definitely consider all these models before making your final buying decision. So that was our full review of the POCO X3 Pro. Thanks for watching, and as always, do leave us a comment telling us what you think of this phone, and do check out the rest of our channel for even more smartphone reviews.